Let's do the front signal lights on this uh, C90 or VL1500. I think the bikes are similar. The only thing I noticed on the VL1500, the earlier models, they had a chrome cover here. So I'm hoping all this stuff is easy to, easy to disassemble on that model. And then also the bummer on this bike, because this is a, I think it's an aftermarket signal light bar. I'm not sure. It may be the stock one. And then the headlight def it definitely is an aftermarket because the bike that when I bought it had a, a hideous LED headlight that didn't work very well. So anyway, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is uh, put a towel on your front fender. That's really important because when you're taking this stuff out, you don't want something to fall and damage that fender. This uh, particular light bar had the wires coming out of these slots on the back. See those two slots? Okay, they, uh, the wires came into there and they go up and into the back of the headlight. I just go ahead and snip those off as flush to the uh, light bar as you can. Oh, by the way, too, this is uh, mounted up here with these two screws here. So snip those off. Uh, let's take this uh, off and then we'll uh, continue on. We want to remove this headlight uh, from the bucket. Now on most of the bikes, and I'm pretty sure on yours, yours, you'll have a screw on here and over here. So you go ahead and take those screws out and then this ring will come off with your headlight. Uh, on this bike, the, the headlight's gonna stay in there, but it's kind of basically the same. So you take those two out and then you lift the ring out and up, and then it should come out and you should be able to lay the headlight down here. I'm gonna disconnect them, uh, this and put it down there so I can show you. You'll notice after you lower the uh, light that these wires are uh, exposed. Okay, what we wanna do is we wanna locate these uh, wires for the signal lights. They're the ones that there's a black connector and a gray, and they are held together with the sheathing. I removed it on the left side here, but I took, uh, this is what it looked like. It has this black sheathing around it that hold the uh, two connectors together. Go ahead and pull that off. There might be a little bit of tape around the top. So go ahead and pull that off both of those. And what that'll do, that'll expose those connectors like that. Now, these, uh, the black and gray connectors are really easy to disconnect. These uh, kind of uh, transparent white ones, they're really stinkers. So I'm gonna just kind of leave these. Um, dealer must have a special tool. You can pry this up and get them apart, but it's, it's really hard. So go ahead and we'll leave these connected and then we'll take the black and gray one out and there's just a little thing in the back there. You lift it up and the connector pops right out, just like that. A little tongue right there. Just lift that up and the, top, the connector will come right out. So do that to the black and gray ones. And then uh, we'll take these over to the bench and uh, hook them up. The next thing we want to do is uh, fasten the, uh, the black and the gray connectors to the signal light wires. So the way it goes is it would be the black and white to the black and white. That's really easy. And then it's the red to the black. So what we do is we go ahead and strip the ends of these wires off and we'll put our little butt splicers on there and give them a real good crimp. But uh, most important is to make sure that you slide these pieces of heat shrink over your wires before you, before you crimp them. That way, after you crimp them, you can slide these up there and heat shrink them. So the finish will look just like this. Most important, leave those down there, crimp them, and then slide them up and heat shrink them. Uh, this heat shrink is the best you can buy. It's the stuff that has the adhesive inside. So once you shrink these there, it's going to be a good permanent joint. Then we'll leave the black wire coming out of the signal ice just like that. And we'll deal with those in just a minute. The last step before we uh, plug everything in is we want to uh, cut these wires off and put the female connectors on. These are the uh, gray wires that had the uh, kind of the semi-transparent connectors. These were fastened to these orange wires. So I cut those off just like that, right at the connector. And then I installed these two female connectors on the end of these orange wires. And everything should be ready to go. I'm gonna plug a pan in on that. So when you get finished, you should have your two square connectors and the two orange wires with the uh, female connectors that you crimped on there. Give them a real good crimp. Now we wanna put the lights on the uh, light bar itself. Now. Yours will be black. I do all this uh, in silver, mainly so you can see it, because if it's black, it's just so hard to see on the camera. So anyway, yours will be black. So what we do is we pay attention now. This is the front of the bike. This thing that sticks out like that. 
So what we want to do, we want to put the lights on so that the smooth side is up because there's a left and a right. So it's real simple. What you do is you just take the light, pull the uh, lock washer and the nut back, put that through there, through the slot, and put the uh, nut and the lock washer on there. And I'll show you how to route the wires. There's a little shop cat. That's that's Fluffy, one of our little shop cats that we took in, little feral cat. Geez, I didn't know he was gonna lick his uh, butt there for you, but anyway, I was gonna redo the video, and I thought, nah, it'll add a personal touch to the video if I leave the cat licking its butt. So anyway, he's back. So what we'll do is we'll show you how to route the wires on this. Now, your bracket may have an extra set of holes in it. I'm just gonna use this uh, set here because I think it'd be best to have the wires run right up through here. Uh, maybe your bike's a little different, so we put an extra set of holes there. And what we do is we wire tie the wires on the bottom like that. And then uh, go ahead and snug these up, but leave these loose because we need to adjust these once they're on the bike. So get those all ready to go like that. And then we'll uh, put these on the bike. Okay, I've temporarily uh, mounted this uh, light bar under the bike here. Uh, this, these two screws, the one that's held the original light bar, at least I think they did on yours. And now the way it goes is this, uh, our light bar goes over the top of the existing bracket that holds these hoses. So it's the last thing that goes on. And then you can go ahead and use these uh, flange bolts that we give you on the kit. Or you can go ahead and use the one, the stock screws that came with the bike. So I'm going to pan in here and show you a close up. So this shiny thing is the uh, bracket that holds the hose here. And then the aluminum colored one is the uh, light bar. So uh, the light bar goes on top of that bracket. And then I'm gonna pan in on the back side. Okay, you'll see that the bracket is mounted there and then what I did I run the wires up through here just just right up here and what I did is I kind of took them out to the front of the bike on both sides it looks a little bit like a spaghetti factory right now but don't worry we're gonna get them all hooked up and it's gonna be clean looking now you can go ahead and uh, plug these in temporarily if you want just to see it make sure everything works before we route them up into the headlight I'm gonna do that and show you uh, when you when you do these orange uh, wire connectors just plug them in lightly you don't need to plug them in all the way okay i've gone through the wires uh put through the back of the headlight there there's a hole in the back of the headlight run those wires through and into the bucket and then go ahead and plug them in now i knew from before that the uh signal lights were backward so what i did is i plugged in the uh, black to the gray and the gray to the black just switch those wires like that and then they should work correctly Try them before you put all this back together. And make sure you plug these uh, connectors in really well. I get a pair of pliers and I actually push real hard because they're, they're really nice connectors, but they need to be pushed in all the way. Do that. And then one last thing before you button all this up is uh, just for your future reference, this is how you change your headlight bulb. Your connector's on the back here. So if you ever have to change that, you know how to take this all apart, pull that connector off, change the bulb and then put it back together okay i'm gonna tuck all this back in there and then we'll make sure everything works and uh finish it up okay and there you have it uh now i've routed all my wires up behind and kind of tucked them in wire tied them in the back there to the hoses so I'd make that nice and clean in the back and then uh, when you tighten these up now be careful these are hollow stems back here so as you tighten these up don't get too carried away you could break that hollow stem off so snug them up. You just need to snug them to where they won't rotate very very easily, you know, or not at all. And then what I like to do, I like to have the light level to the ground. I see people with them hanging up and all kinds of crazy things. Uh, the factory wouldn't do that. It would just make the light level to the ground, maybe a tad up, but level. Don't get too carried away. Tuck your wires in. Make sure everything works. This is flashing fast right now because I don't have the rear lights hooked up yet. Once I hooked up the rear, then the front will flash at a normal rate. So there you have it. What a cool way to go. You have lights.